Welcome to another Culture Index interview. Today I'm here with Lyle from Black Sheep. Thanks for joining us today, mate. Thanks, uh, Sam. Thanks for having me. No worries, mate. No worries. Um, mate, first question. Tell us, how did Black Sheep all get started? Uh, Black Sheep. Well, I've been in the industry, probably got to get, start with a bit of background. Been in the industry for, since I was 22. Uh, there was a time, um, probably in the, when Woolworths started to come into pubs, Woolworths and Coles started to come into pubs, yeah. and the whole climate changed. Yeah. And so we realised, probably in a big hurry, it was just after GFC as well, um, to boot. We realised in a big hurry we had to change the way we did things and yeah. the way we looked at selling grog and the, the just what we ranged. We just had to work out a way to be a bit of a point of difference from yeah. from from the the majors. Yeah. Um, so um, basically, I sort of brainstormed it. I had a sort of a light bulb moment when I was with a, um, a sort of industry leader, and he said to us. If you, well, we were actually um, having a meeting about doing something, uh, uh, a new project, and I, we're at lunch, and we're in a preamble, and he says, to, I say to him, how do you find the industry? And he says, it's split in half. Half the people are sitting here whinging about the majors, and yeah. the other half are like, oh, the majors are doing this, and we're doing this, and what can I do that's different to them, and what we can do to be, you know, to be, our own identity. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I just got all excited by it. Went, got in the car <laughs> after I left lunch and said, okay, let's need to. Started ringing a couple of key staff. I said, well, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. We're not going to try and compete with the chains on price and stuff like that. We're just going to have really cool stuff, stuff that we would like to drink. And that's and that's the sort of the black sheep. That's how it come, up, come about. You know, yeah, we just wanted to do stuff that's a bit different. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. What do you love so much about working in your industry? It's hospitality, so it is literally hospitable. You know, people are friendly. It's, um, there's never one day is the same as another yeah. day. You don't know what's in front of you. Um, in retail, you get a lot of satisfaction out of giving people, like, when they come back and say, oh, you recommended this Pinot from Central Otago. Yesterday, and I, you said it was good. Cool. Like that was Sounds awesome. Like me, you, eh? You're a great example. Maybe I wouldn't Sounds have got. Like me, eh? Maybe I wouldn't have got this interview if I like, gave you a shit um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a good bottle of wine, mate. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's one of the, the good things. Plenty of uh, plenty of good little um, um, freebie type, gimmicky type things that you get to go. Little junkets, I guess yeah. you call them. Yeah. Being really probably around the, just about around the world. I haven't really done too many old world wineries, yeah. but been to America, been to New Zealand, been to all our great wineries. Awesome, awesome. Um, of Australia and New Zealand, so. Wicked. That, that is something that I love. Something that we haven't been doing since COVID though, but yeah. it used to be, yeah. you know, we'd take staff and on, um, you know, to New Zealand or to yeah. Brossa, and McLaren yeah, cool. Vale. McLaren Vale is a great region to take people. It's yeah, look, it's on the ocean. It's beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah, nice. Um, tell us, why did you choose Kingscliff as an area to open up a new store in? Okay. Well, we we've actually owned property here for like 20 years odd. Actually, did really bad when the GFC hit, yeah. and. Yeah. Had a few <laughs> blocks we bought off the Ray Brothers, and um, my business partner bought a couple of blocks as well, and we yeah. did our ass basically. Yeah, but yeah. we'd always loved Kingscliff. I just always think Kingscliff and the Tweed Coast in general, when you the water here, it, right down to Byron, it's just I don't know, it's it's got a charm yeah. about it, hasn't it? The whole yeah. it's just a cool place to be, and we've always thought. We're going to come here one day. So eventually, now I have sort of semi moved here, and yeah, cool. this spot came up, and hopefully we'll make it work. Yeah, cool. I suppose now looking back at it, like everyone sort of wished they bought a little bit more, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, I remember the days when it cost this to buy this. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. We out of those three blocks, 
I just hung on to one because the, the environment changed, the FC came and gone. Yeah. We hung on that one block in um, Barrel Street, built the cheapest, yeah. like a metric on <laughs> house. I just said, fuck it, even, if it, it. <laughs> even if, it, if it kills us, this is going to be my one good thing out of it. And yeah. then every year after that, like the, the agent had been here when the lease came up or, and yeah. stuff like that. And it was like, every year it's like, oh, it's worth this much. Oh, it's worth it. So it's definitely, oh, sweet. you know, that one block probably, yeah, made a- Done all right. It's, yeah, done pretty good. Yeah. Out of it, so, yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Mate, tell us, what can people expect when they come to a black sheep store? Okay, so our, the, we focus on probably three big things. Yeah. Ho um, and hopefully they'll get knowledgeable staff but the, the 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 three core products are really like artisan wine a lot of people think oh it'll be all only expensive one yes we do have the high-end wines but yeah. we also have like you know your two for twenty dollar wines and your seven dollar wines and whatever but but really extensive range of of um, wine and really knowledgeable staff to back that up yeah cool. that's number one um number two um is the whole craft beer movement we got involved in that very early um, yeah. and sort of partnered up with cool local and sort of regional um, breweries and um, so the craft beer um, the range is huge yeah um, so that's the second thing and then the third thing and this is probably chronological it's sort of in that order yeah. um, the third thing is spirits the whole gin movement yeah. but also whiskies and, and just a, a broad range of whiskies it's i think it's really cool how like i don't know growing up our family drink was the for the boys and one of six brothers yeah. was the yeah. bombay sapphire and it's called the beautiful the bombay sapphire yeah. tonic and a little splash of fresh orange on the top so bombay was like the ultimate that was but it. now it's uh, now yeah. there's so many good australian um um gins yeah it's amazing it's so, off, eh? yeah it's and crazy. even like the mixes that that go with them you know yeah. it used to be the kirks yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> tonic and that now you've got long rays you've got all the other good stuff that you can put into a yeah. gin so so the last one is yeah the spirits the artisan spirits so those three things um hoping to at, at our brisbane venues we do a lot with wine immersion events and beer mm. um and, and uh, gym tastings and that. So we've already got tastings going on. Um, the On Thursday we have beer yeah. from four to six-ish. Yeah. Um, on Friday we always have gin and it's often locally type gin tastings again in that sort of four to six time frame. We sometimes we'll have a second thing on on a Friday as well like a beer or wine on the side. Yeah. And then Saturday we always do the, um, the wine tasting. So, yeah, cool. So, um, there, some of the other other um, things we do. When we get into it and when the phase two comes, we have a little restaurant where we're going to probably looking at charcuterie as being the cuisine, just awesome. simple stuff that goes yeah, with cool. um, simple stuff that goes with wine um, and and craft beer. So we'll have that going and we, you have more detailed events and we can do some really cool wine events when we've got the food aspect of it going. So I love I love the um how you can create such an experience when you're using pairing the right wines with food, with the yes, right air, with this, so, the right, you know, yeah. like spirits with this as well. It's so yeah. nice. It's it can be life changing. Huge. Like, um, yeah, you know, all the classics, the like Riesling and and oysters. Like, yeah, if yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. ever, yeah. it sounds so simple, but it's like it, it can if you get the right, the right, and some some of the good reds with yeah. you know. You know, maybe a Italian a duck and pinot, or all of the all the classic mixes and that sort of thing. We we, we can get into those sort of things in the wine immersion. We also um, team up with a cheese company, the Church Mess yeah, Cheese guys, good. and we, we do awesome. tastings where immersions where it's just they just do a different cheese, all different cheeses, no other food with yeah. um, as you taste your way through. It's like a cheese degustation. So good, so and, good, and it's yeah, it's pretty <laughs> cool. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Um, tell us, what do you love so much about living in Kingsley? What do you like best about it? Um, I don't know, mate. I think I'm one of nine kids and six boys are like a year apart. But yeah, yeah. And whenever we go near any water, we just, just jump it. it. Like it could be, Dad could pull into a motel at midnight yeah. and uh, 
freezing cold in the middle of winter. And you boys are straight into it. We're just all jumping in the pool. So the ocean yeah. is what I love the most yeah. about. I, you know, I swim every every day. I like walk on the beach and that. It's when you, when so you have that bug, I've got three brothers as well. Yeah. You get the bug, yeah. you're straight into it. We love yeah. surfing as well. We're in yeah. the water all the time. Even my old man, yeah. body surfing, all the rest, you know, yeah. we get right into it. So. Yeah. Well, I love. Surf. I am the world's worst surfer, but we have had a. We do like trying to, to surf. Wait for a big shore break or something, yeah, right? Yeah, Go yeah, out there. Yeah, like, yeah. It's your turn, mate. Yeah. Get into it. <laughs> classic, yeah. classic. Yeah. Um, and last question, mate. Why do you think more people should be moving down this way? As in, moving to King yeah, Street or moving yeah, to yeah. my bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hey, they could do that as well. All right. Oh, look, I think it's, um, and a big thing with uh, my uh, wife's a critical nurse. Yeah. Um, so the hospital, I think, is huge. Yeah. I don't think anyone realises probably how much impact that's going to have on the region. Yeah. I've seen what, I've seen like even a new hospital in Roma, where one of the towns we used to live, how much that can make to a town. But yeah. this is like a, I think, Seven or eight hundred million dollars. It's around that point. It's yeah, and, and then there's the ancillary stuff that goes onto that. So yeah. that'll be huge. And I think the other massive one is the Cooley, um, is the airport. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, and the natural features on top of that, obviously the beaches and everything. But I think there's a really good um, bit of a foodie um, scene that's yeah. been here for quite a while. But I think it'll evolve that a lot more as we get further away from COVID and as we get sort of um, um, just the, the population comes in and the demand will be there for it. Yeah. I, I, I think there's, there's going to be um, a, a bit bigger and better food scene as yeah. well. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. Well, thanks, mate. Um, if Thank you, you want to come down and see Black Sheep Bottle Shop down here in Kingsliff, you can find them at 62 Cylinders Drive. And where can we find you guys online? Um, we can, I'm terrible with social media, but we have got good people that do it. Um, I think we should be on Insta and yep. Facebook, etc. We have only, we've been waiting to really do any um, social media until all the science has been done. But yep. We have just done that now, so we yep. will be doing that. But you, you're probably, um, the Brisbane stuff will probably come up cool. first, but which is the same concept that we'll be adding the um, things that part of it if it's not already added. I think it should be added. Awesome, mate. Well, hey, thanks Thank for you. Time, mate. Thanks, mate. Good, mate. Pleasure.